Also, for anybody curious, our co-total is up to 40 now, which is quite nice. And those girls are still following us. How you doing? They still adore us. I don't get enough of them, I swear. Hello, doggy. Come with me, doggy. Let's go to Telma's bar together! I know a cat you might like. And it's daytime now, because I started hearing the music. Yep, there's the music. Also, these guys still have their shop here. I don't need the spring water for anything. And I may show off... And you know what? Since we are here, let me show off these two things down here. First is the treasure chest that I had no idea how to get that you guys were so kindly to point out to me, and I even messed up whoever it was that told me what it was. It was this treasure chest up here in the fountain. Now, we actually need two items to get this. We need the spinner and the claw shot. Each for two different things. First, if you look up on one of these towers, you should notice... Let's see, where is it? Is it around? It's around here somewhere. Come on, buddy. Where are you? There should be a target somewhere. Target. Where are you, target? Is it on one of these big things? I did see the video, but I didn't pay too much attention to where anything was. Maybe I should have, so I didn't look like an idiot when I was doing this. Or maybe it was on the Wii version, so it was on the opposite tower that I was looking at. Yeah, it was the Wii version, so I was looking at the wrong tower. Come on, you can reach that. I know you can reach that, Link. There you go, it's the right tower. Claw shot up to it. And I saw some pots up there too, but more importantly, there is a spinner track here. And if you follow it into the middle, you can jump right off, and it takes you to the treasure chest. In all my years of playing this game, I have never, nor would I have ever thought to look up there. So let's put the rupee back as a commemoration of the fact that without you guys, this treasure chest would have never been opened. And... I'm not really going to go all the way down there, because you can see for yourself, and there isn't much of anything left for us to do in the Farron Province of Hyrule Field, but this guy's finished working on the wall. Hey, look, brother. The way is now clear, just as I promised. I don't know what you are headed to do, but be careful. Good for you, buddy. Are you just going to stand there to tell us that whenever we feel lost, or whenever we need a friend to talk to? That's very nice of the Goron. And I also love, if you look up, you can see the crystal that's enveloped Hyrule Castle. I didn't point it out anywhere else, but if you ever see Hyrule Castle on the map, even in Zora's Domain, you can see the crystal enveloping the castle. Also a very nice touch. So let's just get back into Thomas Bar and progress the plot. I'm interested to hear what Aru has to say, because I, I don't think we've done much of anything that would make the desert seem any less violent than it was before, but I'm sure he's back now, so we'll get to hear from him. And I suppose the next person who's missing is the next person we have to go after. Hello, Louise. Hello, Telma. How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure the shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato's a talented man, for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs to be doing right now, okay? Now, I'm not down you, honey, but if you're wondering about what you ought to be doing, you ought to go talk to our friend Ashe. She's up on Hyrule's northern mountain checking things out, and she's got good instincts, trust me. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek at that map on the table. Just like we did when we went to the Gerudo Desert, just take a peek at the map, and it will tell you to head... Up to Zora's Domain. An area that was blocked off by ice before. So let's talk to Aru, see what's happened, what's changed. Say, Giant, you're alive and well. Tell me, did you find anything of interest in the Arbutus Grounds in the desert? The Sages. Those Sages once served, as the, served the royal family, actually. They were appointed as tutors to the young Princess Zelda. It was from them that I first heard the tales of the Accursed Mirror in the Arbutus Grounds. And you didn't tell me about this before we went there. Okay. 
Let's head up to Ashay and see if she has anything to tell us. Now when he references the sages tutoring Zelda, I don't know if he's just talking about Impa or if the other sages actually tutored her or what happened with that, but we were supposed to go to Zora's Domain, so I say we just warp straight up there and head to the northern mountain area. Oh, Zora's Domain. It's been a really long time since we've been here. A really long time. And Rallis still isn't here? That's really fishy. Pun not intended. Can we transform here? No, we have to wait until we go outside. Okay, Midna. Okay. Can we transform yet? No. Can we transform yet? No. Can we transform yet? Yes. Yay! Yeah, like I said, the crystal ceiling Hyrule Castle, you can see it from here. But yeah, there was an area over here blocked off by ice, and if you touched the ice, you would have frozen on contact, but yeah, this is the way through. Let's see what the Zoras have to say. A suspicious person has been seen around here. Well, all you have to do is ride up the waterfall and tell them, you know that? Snow Peak, that's what it's called. Gee, I wonder why the weather's been bad. Maybe it's the snow. But this area is entirely frozen. Well, not just the cave, I mean the actual area. Snow Peak. Reminds me of Snowhead from Majora's Mask. Oh my god, she's hideous! Giant. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be you, but do you have to dress in such a creepy outfit? What brings you to a dangerous place like this? Ever since Sora's Domain got covered in ice, this mountain's been much colder than usual, yeah? Not only that, but I heard a really weird story from the Zoras. Apparently, the beast that lives somewhere on this mountain has been frequently seen in Zora's Domain. I was curious, so I came and waited, and as they said, a giant appeared. I'm right here. Yeah, it looked like this. No, we don't get to see what it looks like. She just gives us a sketch that looks exactly like Aru's memo. How funny. Apparently, this thing's been stealing red fish from the village. I want to investigate further, but I can't see the path through this blizzard, yeah? I'm sure you're here because you're curious about the mountain, but you'd best not go without a plan. And that's exactly what Middle will tell you if you try to progress any further, so I say we just turn straight back and I guess we'll ask people if they've seen the sketch. We get to play Interrogator! I can be the good cop and Minda can be the bad cop and we'll have lots of fun! Have you seen this giant? No, not me. Yeah, I, that's what you call the red fish he's holding? A reek fish? I guess so. It doesn't sound like a good smelling fish though. Prince Rallis can catch those, though? Hmm. You have anything else to tell me besides what that Zora told me? Okay, I, I get the hint. We should go to Prince Rallis. However, we don't know where he is. Luckily, though, I do, because I played this game before, and Midna's is not gonna let us transform, because there are Zoras around. Can we transform yet? No. Can we transform yet? No. Can we transform yet? No. Can we transform yet? Yes. Yay! Let's go to Kakariko Village, why not? Because this is where we took him to recover after we had to get him back through Castletown. All the way back around, and... If he isn't... well, I suppose we should go check to see if he's still resting up at the inn. Although I usually go directly to where he is, I'm curious to see if anybody has anything interesting to say in the inn, if they're still there at all, or maybe it's abandoned, I'm not sure. 
We'll find out. It's funny that I never actually thought to do this. Maybe I just knew what I was supposed to do before. Colin! Oh, giant! I heard from the shaman that Ilya might be able to get her memory back. Yeah, and the Zora boy opened his eyes! Yeah, I thought these were both pretty good things, but Ilya and the Zora boy still seem pretty sad. That stinks. You know, I don't think I have ever talked to you before. Not you, Colin. The Sanctuary. So that's where Rallis is? Well, I guess we'll take care of that for you, buddy. I've never talked to you before! Do you say the same thing he does? Yep. So I guess this is how you're supposed to figure out to go to the graveyard. I've never been in here before. And there's, there's happy music playing in here. And you picked up the bookshelves, you bastards! But yeah, there's nobody around here. So I guess Renato is back in his sanctuary or wherever it is he lives, and everybody else is just going about their business. So at least we know to go to the graveyard. I'd always just run straight there, and I don't know if it was the first thing I tried or I heard it from somebody else, but I'd always just go straight to the graveyard because I knew exactly what to do. So let's get going. Of course, he's not going to be out here in the open, because that would be too easy for us. And I don't know if the same music was playing in here the last few times we were in here, but this is the same music that we would hear inside Renato's place. I forget what he calls it. But, yep, there's Rallis in front of his mother's grave. And his father's grave. I guess that was for his father, since it was constructed before the queen died. She sort of just wound up here. Hello, Rallis. Is... is your name Giant? My mother came to me in a dream. She showed me your image. She spoke of a youth who would save our domain and steer my fate. One named Giant. I must thank you for all you've done. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please tell me. Please. Do you know anything about this fish? The Beast Man of the Snowy Mountain, perhaps? But more important is the red fish it's holding. It must be a reek fish. That is a rare specimen found only in the Zora village. It feeds on a valuable type of coral, and without that bait, even our best fishers cannot catch one. Look closely, giant. My earring is made of this coral. I would like to give it to you. And now we have an earring. How does this help? It's a fish hook that we can attach to our fishing rod, and we can use it to catch weak fish. Of course! I received it from my mother. But it is fine. I no longer need it. As I look at you, I get a sense of what my mother wanted, what I should be doing right now. I will return to my village. The reef fish can be found near the mother and child rocks that are totally not a reference to the islands in Wind Waker. The fish are red, so I think you should be able to spot them. I think that's the last we hear of Rutella's theme, also. As long as we're here, though, I would like to show off the passage that I pointed out the first time we were here. If we head down to... we need our iron boots as well. I've completely forgotten how to swim. But yeah, these rocks over here... blow them up with a water bomb... and when you do... it opens up a passageway for you to go down. A passageway that leads you all the way back to Lake Hylia. I forget where that actually comes from. Is it the bottom of Zora's River? Yeah, it's the very bottom of Zora's River. That's neat. I don't think you can go back, though, because that's an air jet or something that's pushing you back. And I seem to remember that even if you're using the Iron Boots, you can't get back there. So let's see if we can find a place to stand where we can transform and warp back to Zora's Domain. Not Snow Peak. Zora's Domain! So we can head back to Snow Peak. But first, we need to catch ourselves a Reekfish.